Hello, Cancerians. Thank you so much for being here. Really appreciate it. We are going to uh, start with the Angel Answer Oracle cards for you Cancerians. This card will answer whatever question you have at the end of the reading. Um, but interestingly enough, I added the Keeper of the Land Oracle cards woo, after the answer cards. So the answer card answers it and the Keeper of the Light Oracle card puts it all together. Excuse me, Cancerians, I have to get the cards on the floor. <laughs> oh, and there's only one card, so it's the one. And it fell this way, so I don't know what it says either. I always love that. I'm like a small child when it comes to these things, Cancerians. It's very exciting to me, you know? Kind of like that Christmas morning feeling. <gasps> what I get, what I get, what I get. <laughs> so... Let's see, Romance Angel card for my Cancerians here. Cancerians in three, two, one. And there's that card stuck in the hand thing. It's so weird. <laughs> okay. <gasps> Sorry. <laughs> Past life relationship. You have known each other before. Hey, Cancerians, you know that person that feels really comfortable? Somebody else got this card. I can't remember who it was. But this card is, I always think of, and I hate to say it, I won't say what I really think, but I'm, I'm going to give you an intimate, an, an idea. I always think of the person, you know the person who you, you feel so comfortable you don't think about it and you just burp? And you're like, Ooh, what? wait, wait, did I just do that? <laughs> That's the person, you know? Things are just a little too comfortable. Or you, or you say something and you're like, wait, did I just share that with him? And you, you get that, <gasps> then it's like, wait a minute, it doesn't feel wrong, which is weird, but good because, well, you've known each other before. Let's see. Cards for Cancerians. Let's see. Cancerians. What the whoo? <laughs> All that mess and only one card came out. Let's see if you need any others from this deck. Dark Mansion Tarot. What else does Cancer need to know? Okay. So, let's see here. Bum, bum, bum. I feel like I'm playing poker here. You can't see. <laughs> oh, wow. Cancerians, you could be dealing with a Virgo because this is the Hermit card. This also could say that you have been dealing with your insides you know going over what's going on with you which would make sense and look at that tell me that does not make you think of yesterday's uh annular solar lunar eclipse look at that after the ring of fire and was coming out and it was going in you got to see this so i'm wondering if this reading really starts from yesterday and this is so appropriate that you would be having this in love you know, that you've been thinking about what's going on inside and maybe you've been wondering, you know, you have the Eight of Cups. And the Eight of Cups is walking away. It can mean it's walking, you're walking away from what doesn't serve you anymore or that you've gained all that you need and you're ready to move on and you're ready to go look for your wish fulfillment because the Nine of Cups comes after. And I would say yes, <laughs> because... You got the two of cups. Wow. 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 Cancerians. Hold on. Bear with me. Here you have a past life relationship, right? Somebody you've known before. And that weird little comfort. And maybe you've been thinking about this person and thinking about you and thinking, what is going on here? You know? And so you took some time to think about it. And you are, you know, instead of looking on the inside, you're walking towards this this person. This this is the to me this is a soulmate card, you know, because they are two peas in a pod, two little doves, you know. This is where it all starts, and I always say you just have to be kind of careful because this two of cups is different than the other ones. This one in the dark mansion has the little apple with a worm. So this to me means 
yes, this could be your perfect partner, but, and I hate to say but, you know, no one is perfect. And maybe, maybe we all are searching for that perfect person. And this is to remind you that no one is perfect. So if Cancerians, you have met someone and they seem like all that in a bag of chips, but there's that one thing, I think what this is saying is overlook it because you actually may have found your wish. You may have found that soulmate relationship and maybe you need to clarify what you were looking for. And that's why the hermit was here, you know, and by clarifying what you wanted, you brought this person in. So I like it so far. Cancerians, what else does Cancerians? Wow. Now, these cards all came out together, and I saw this one first. So this would be very interesting to me because this kind of fills in a blank of uh, this jump of how we went from uh, knowing some person, you know, from a past life to the hermit. I kind of feel like that this hermit and this uh, walking away energy had to do with heartbreak. At some point, you know, you may recently have been heartbroken and have walked away from a relationship, even possibly the soulmate relationship. And I say that because sometimes what soulmates are is they are people who go with us to help us learn whatever objective we are supposed to learn in this life, whether it's humility or fortitude or um, generosity, whatever the, the, the lessons is, are, excuse me, that we need to learn, the person comes with us in this lifetime and helps us learn it and move forward. So possibly after a heartbreak, you learned that you can move forward, that you can make those changes because you have everything. He has the sword, he has the wand, he has the cup and he has the pentacle. He has the power to create. And here is that Knight of Swords. This is that Sir Lancelot charging in He's going to get everything right. So you have the power to bring in that knight in shining white armor, even after a heartbreak. It's it, This to me is, is talking about you having that power. And I think that you may need to recognize that although someone seemed perfect, that they may have been here just to teach you a lesson in that you you are lovable and you can you can move on you are not just stuck that's one message the other message is that you may have found the right person and believe that you know things aren't working out right but this is saying things can work out right you need to you know think about how you can work on things cautionary note here. If someone has cheated on you, if someone has done you wrong in any way, shape or form, whether or not you move forward is 100% your choice. It's a free will. Now, I as uh, someone with Libra in my chart can rationalize anything. I can make things balance even when they aren't always balanced. But I'm much better at telling others <laughs> to do what makes you comfortable, do what makes you happy, do what allows you to look in the mirror every morning and say, I love that person. This person is lovable, no matter what the decision is. Mind you, I do not ever advocate anybody harming or doing anything mean towards anyone, it's just not in my nature. So you do what makes you happy, past life relationship or not. And the Magician card says that you are very capable of bringing a knight in shining white armor into your life. Someone who can help you, support you, and be there for you. So Cancers, what's your question? Here's your answer. Choose a new direction. Like I said, this could be a cautionary tale that you need to maybe choose a different person, choose another direction. But that's going to be for everybody a little different. So let's get the Keeper of the Light Oracle card and see if that brings a little more clarity or direction for some of you. 
or maybe all of you. That's a lot to ask, though. <laughs> Lord Shiva, transcendence, rise up, honor your inner force. Steps are being given, dance with the universe. How appropriate is that? How appropriate. Rise up. Tell me this is not rising up. Here we go. Rise up. Honor your inner force. Steps are being given. Dance with the universe. Steps are being given. I believe that there's a variation in this for a few of you. Like I said, could be heartbreak leads to learning about yourself and moving towards this soulmate connection. It could be a heartbreak that makes you look inside and realize that you don't need this and you can manifest something much better. I am once again drawn to this right here. This is that annular solar lunar eclipse we had yesterday. Did something happen? Did something happen, Cancerians? Was there some moment in time where you were talking to somebody or felt something in relation to something that was going on? I feel like I need to tell you to pay attention to that. I got the goosebumps. Weird. Anyway, thank you so much, Cancerians. Please like, subscribe, share. And uh, if this resonates, let me know, okay? Thank you very much. Bye-bye.